How's everybody doing out there? This is Super Salican, and this is The Awakening. I want to go ahead and get into this message quickly because it's important. The Euphrates River is drying up. Let me repeat that. The Euphrates River is drying up and it's been drying up for years. The Euphrates River is drying up. Why is that? Why am I even talking about that? Because this is a ancient biblical prophecy. This is in a book of revelations. We are living in the last days. Oh, yes. This isn't the only biblical prophecy that's coming to pass. There's many others. The Bible has already answered many biblical, many prophecies. It's already prophesied many things that has happened in history. Look it up. Don't just have the Christian bias and, you know, you listen to everyone who's on the Internet and who have these these who's basically sheep and regurgitating the same things that they've heard from the, basically the blind leading the blind. No, actually do your own research. The Bible has answered many prophecies of what's going to ha It's prophesied many things of what's going to happen in history. So they've already answered many things that's going to, it's already prophesied many things that's happened already. And there's other things that are to come that the Bible has prophesied. One of those things that's happening in modern times that's prophesied in the book of Revelation is the Euphrates River is drying up. And according to the Iraqi Ministry of Water Resources, they warn that the river could be bone dry by 2040. By 2040. This is 2023. 2040 is not too long from now. That is a clear biblical prophecy. We are living in the last times. There's no way that someone who who was um, wrote the book of Revelation could have known that without divine prophecy, without divine intervention. They like they don't have a time machine. It's no way to know um, any to to have any science or any type of physics that's where you can pinpoint like to where you can predict that that's going to happen in these times now in 20. It's no way you can do that. That's impossible. So what that tells you is that we are living in the last times. These are the last days. In the book of Revelation, it says in 16, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 12. The sixth angel poured out his bowl onto the great river Euphrates and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. There's a reason that this is that this river is drying up. There's not just it's not just happening for no reason. There is a reason behind all the events that's happened on the earth. God has been moving on the earth since mankind has been here. And that's where people get it wrong. Those people who think that God is just inanimate, you know, that God is just just sitting there, that he has no will. The creator has a will. He had a will to create. So if he had a will to do this. Out of nothing, that means he has a will to do other things. Like, you have to get that. That's common sense. But the again, in the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 12, it's clear. It said the sixth angel poured out his bowl onto the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way from the king for the kings of the east. This verse tells us the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the river Euphrates. The contents of the bowl caused the river to dry up. Prior bowl judgments have either corrupted or destroyed most of the water on earth. The judgment is not about corrupting or removing the use of the water. Rather, it seems to be about removing the barrier that's used for defensive purposes, preparing the way for invading kings from the east. There's going to be, we already know there's wars. There, there's still many wars going on and talks of wars. That's going to be until the Lord returns. So the, the scripture is saying that it's removed. 
it, by 2040, the whole river is going to be dried up. And the scripture is saying that it's removing um, the protection barrier to prepare the way for the kings of the east. And that's um, yet to come. You understand? But right now, the river is drying up. The bowl has been poured out and the prophecy from the Bible is coming to fruition. And according again, according to Iraqi, the Iraqi Ministry of Water and Resources, this is the Iraqi Ministry of Water and Resources, not me saying this. They warn that the river could be absolutely dry by 2040. OK, they said this is they're saying it is due to climate change. I'm using air quotes because some people even say that that's they don't believe that. You know, some people will be skeptical of they'll be skeptical about the sky being blue. They'll be skeptical about fat meat being greasy into the apocalypse. Sometimes you just have to move on from those people. Like it's no you can't really talk to people like that because they they're just they just want to argue. And those people aren't really genuine. They need help. Um, but the Bible just doesn't speak about the, the river Euphrates drying up in Revelations. Even the prophet Jeremiah foretells in Jeremiah 46, verse 10, that Babylon will be conquered and the Euphrates River will be dried up. But that that day belongs to the Lord, the Lord Almighty, a day of vengeance for vengeance on his foes. The sword will devour till it's satisfied, till it has quenched its thirst with blood for the Lord, the Lord Almighty will offer sacrifice in the land of the north by the river Euphrates. That passage shows that passage right there shows that God has control over the land and the river that he created. God is going to be the one who comes back and it says that the Lord Almighty that his sword will devour till it is satisfied. The Lord, you know, we got to understand that these times the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You don't if you don't have fear of God, you don't know who God is. God's not just some lovey dovey hippie. That's not what Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ was never some lovey dovey hippie. He loves. Yes, he loves his creators. He loves his creation. The creator loves his creation. And Jesus Christ died for our sin. But there is no more uh, atonement for sin outside of Jesus Christ. God was already done with humanity. You know, their wickedness. God's fed up with all of that. So you got to understand, you got to stop playing games with your salvation. Jeremiah told you that the Euphrates River is going to dry up. How would he know? In the book of chat, in the book of uh, Jeremiah, it's the same book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 38 through 39. It describes the Euphrates River drying up because of God's judgment against sin. In those verses, he says a drought on her waters. They will dry up for it is a land of idols, idols that will go mad with terror. It will never again be inhabited or lived in from generation to generation. God is telling you the, that because of the wickedness of the world, the wickedness of the land is the reason why this river is drying up. That's the reason behind a lot of things that go on on the earth. You got to understand that sin gets to God. The believers, God's true believers, he has a hedge of protection over them. He has a providence of angels are watching over certain providences like that. I'm just telling you. This is when you ha you want an answer to these things. This is where they come from. The Bible tells you where you get this stuff from. But yes, by 2024, this river is suspected to drive up. Now, ultimately, the biblical meaning of the um, the Euphrates reader drying up. That's something for believers. And that's only for us to interpret like that's only for us to know. Now, I'm giving it to anybody who's willing to listen. Anybody can look and see that the river is drying up. You can. I know people may not know that this is in the Bible, but I just gave you scripture. So now how again would these men back all the way from ancient times know that this would occur? This is prophecy. The Bible has answered many prophecies um, and fulfill, the Bible has fulfilled many prophecies throughout history. But this is just because of the Christian bias. People tend to not look at that or they want to discredit that in some way. 
it's always something of goalpost moving. But the Euphrates River has spiritual significance for Christians because the Bible mentions it in both historical and prophetic context. It served as both a positive and negative change at points where God's power over the natural world he has created. The Euphrates can also inspire us to reflect on the battle between good and evil, as well as contrast between spiritual dryness and spiritual fulfillment that God provides through Jesus who provides the ultimate satisfaction for our spiritual thirst. So we can look at it metaphorically as well that, you know, the, Euph river, the, the river Euphrates drying up. It is symbolic of people's spiritual dryness here. This is the time the, that people are the most spiritually dry that I've ever seen in my life. You understand? And the river, God himself, due to drought and other factors, the river is drying up. This is predicted in the Bible. You do with that what you will. I suggest that you prepare for the end. Give your life to Jesus Christ before it's too late. You understand? He wants you to have eternal life. God wants you to spend eternity with him. That's why Jesus Christ came to the earth. Stop playing with your, with your life. Stop playing with your immortality. Hell starts on earth, but stop playing with your immort immortal soul. God can destroy the soul, okay? So, again... Right now, the Euphrates River is drying up. According to studies, the river should be drying up by 2024. This has been predicted in the Holy Bible. With that being said, this is the awakening. Peace and blessings to the hearers and doers of the Lord's word.